We hit the jackpot of Taylor Swift vinyls. The original Speak Now, Fearless Platinum Edition. The Lover House is still here. Afterglow and Cornelia Street back to back was a personal attack. 1989 is like Taylor's favorite child. I'm debating whether or not I should get the 1989 haircut. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nina. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, it has been almost, I don't know, maybe like two or three weeks since the Eras tour, which is insane. Um, and I've just been kind of like getting my life back together, figuring it all out. And so today I thought I would film a little day in my life, kind of day in my life as a Swifty, cause we're, we have a lot to do today. Um, right now I'm gonna go on a walk and then I'm gonna show you guys, I found three really rare vinyls at one of my vinyl shops that are the old Taylor Swift albums and they're almost impossible to find and so when I saw it I hit the jackpot. I'm gonna show you guys those vinyls and then I want to go to Barnes & Noble because apparently they have this like fan pack Taylor Swift poster thing and also Barnes & Noble sometimes has vinyls that are kind of just like you don't see very often and then I'm gonna go to Target because my Target is all out of the Speak Now vinyl and I wanted to get the Target edition and usually they have them and they're like never run out of stock but my target's not having them so I'm gonna go to a different target so let's go When I tell you the inside of my car is like a volcano, oh my god, so hot here in Southern California. So anyways, I'm completely melting. <sighs> okay, first stop is Barnes & Noble. and I have a haul for you guys. I'm very excited. First, I went to Barnes & Noble and I did not find the exact thing I was looking for. It was like like a poster pack. It had like all like these things that you could like hang up and stuff and I didn't find any of that. I found two different magazines that were like unofficial Taylor Swift style, blah, blah, blah. And they were like $20 for a magazine that I could have written. So I didn't end up going with that. I go to look at the vinyls and the CDs and they don't have anything that I don't already have. Usually Barnes and Noble has older CDs like 1989 and before, but my Barnes and Noble just sucks, I guess. So that was great. I will remember for next time to go to a different one. And then I went over cause there's a super Target right next to it so I decided to hop in there and see what I could find and again their vinyl section was super lacking but I did find the lilac version of Speak Now Taylor's version because my Target like has not restocked at all and so I was looking for this one. I'm glad that I didn't walk out completely at a loss and then I went to the dollar section and again my Target's dollar section is always like picked over completely sold out of everything that I see on like TikTok and I found Found a ghosty pillow and I'm so excited because um, I am so excited for the holidays this year I saw this ghost pillow on someone's TikTok, and I'm like I need that and I go I went to Target like three different times last week and they still didn't have it so there was one left at this Target and I picked it up and the lady that was stocking the shelves goes you better grab that cuz that's gonna go very quickly so I got it, my first little Halloween decoration for my new house, my new room. Then I wanted to show you guys, last week I went to a local record store just to see because I followed them on Instagram and they had posted that they had gotten like older Taylor Swift vinyls. And so on a whim, I was like, oh, we should just go check it out and see what they have. And oh my God, we hit the jackpot 
of Taylor Swift vinyls. So first of all, this vinyl goes for like $75 on Amazon and I got it for 34. The original Speak Now and I've been trying to find this forever. I don't have like any of the older vinyls and so that was, that was a find for me. And also it came in this like protective sleeve, which I really liked. And then this one, I was like, I could not believe my eyes when I saw it. Fearless Platinum Edition. I was didn't even think they had a vinyl for this album. And so, again, it comes in a little protective sleeve. But it has all of the songs. And it has two LPs in it. And it's a gatefold. I haven't opened up any of these yet. I'm really excited to see, like, the inside and everything. And then lastly, I got the Reputation picture disc vinyl, but I am so excited because now I'm only missing debut, normal, fearless, and red, and they had red, the original red, at this record store. I was just spending way too much money and I figured I could find red somewhere else. I think online it's not too expensive, so maybe I will get that one a little bit later on. I think debut is going to be the hardest one to find. I've seen people put it on like eBay and different resale sites for so much money, so fingers crossed that that someday I will come across that one. I'm just so excited. As somebody who started collecting vinyls like only a year ago, I'm pretty impressed with myself for how quickly I've been able to catch up, but it's become my new obsession. These will look so great when I get little like things to hang them up on the wall. So yeah, that's my little haul for you guys. Also, I wanna share with you guys something that I'm going to be working on and making a video about, but I bought this clear birdhouse on Amazon and I'm going to turn it into a little lover house to put my bracelets in. I've seen so many people do it on TikTok. Um, so I'm going to be doing a bracelet tour, showing you guys all the bracelets that I got when I traded them at all the concerts, showing you my favorite ones, and then showing you how I turn this into the lover house, as well as like a few other like displays, like how to display your bracelets so they look cute. I definitely want to do like a shadow box with confetti, photos, and like different things from the tour, like the bracelets and whatnot. It's far the rest of my day. Today is Wednesday. I've just been kind of running around doing stuff, but I'm heading over back to my parents' house to get some work done and hang out. And then tonight we're going to dinner to celebrate my 100K. So I'm excited about that. And if you guys were wondering, yes, the lover house is still here and it is still slightly unfinished, but maybe one day. It lives on the floor in our multi-purpose room right now. <laughs> Y'all, it is so hot. I am so unwell. Oh, did I just, okay, we're good. I am currently en route to the parentals house. You might be wondering, Nina, like why do you need so many vinyls and also so, like all the different variations? And to that I say, I have a problem and I know that and I'm okay with it because last week they dropped uh, well, okay, so when Taylor announced 1989, I immediately ordered the vinyl, the blue one, and somehow I knew that there was gonna be variations. Just because 1989 is like Taylor's favorite child and I knew she was gonna get some special treatment. And then she announces the limited edition sunset yellow edition and I bought that so fast. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Now we're up to two 1989 vinyls, not including the original one that I already have. I think maybe like three or four days ago, she announced the aquamarine green vinyl. And again, now I'm like, okay, well now I have to catch them all. Like I need all of the different ones because now I think she's going to announce a fourth variation that's pink, the last one. And I know I'm gonna want that pink vinyl and that it's gonna be beautiful. And then you're just gonna, and like all the different covers. She went off with this 1989 Taylor's version photo shoot and she is so smart because these pictures like everyone's bringing up like the original Polaroids and it's almost like she's recreated certain pictures 
certain poses from the original Polaroids and somehow even though she has long hair she has taken the pictures in a way that makes it look like she has short hair. So she's like giving the illusion of 1989 without actually having to cut her hair again and I don't think she'll cut her hair for the 1989 Taylor's version, I think she might be just done with that, but it doesn't mean that we can't. So I'm debating whether or not I should get the 1989 haircut. Not like a full bob, like that's a little much for me, but like cut my hair shorter, I don't know. Leave a comment down below telling me if I should do that or not um, in honor of 1989. But anyways, Taylor is going to be performing in Mexico tomorrow, the first show of the international leg, which is super exciting. She'll be playing there for four nights in a row and I'm excited to get back on the live stream and see if she's going to continue to repeat surprise songs or if she's gonna switch it up and play new surprise songs. And then after that, we have quite a bit of a break before. I think she's taking two months off. I think she doesn't return until October or November to uh, South America to finish out the rest of the tour dates for the year. Um, her last show, I think, is like Thanksgiving week, which is like my birthday, so she has a show on my birthday, so I'm hoping that she plays a song just for me. Um, I won't be there, of course, because it's in Brazil, and I, I quite literally do not have the funds to do that because of my uh, financially irresponsible summer that I've had, but um, next year she's playing in Canada the day before my birthday, and I feel like I need to go. Um, do I have tickets? No. Do I have a pre-sale code? No. The, the odds are not high, but also the odds weren't high for me going nine times this year. I only had tickets to two shows at the start of the year. So never say never, never give up. Anyways, that's my little Taylor Swift chat of the day. They want what are we celebrating today? Um, another day on the planet Earth. <laughs> celebrating 105 days. <laughs> Oh my god, what is it? The way I love you. Oh, it yeah. is. It's gonna be the way. Oh, it's tell me why. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, the Mexican fans probably know this song because they're diehard fans. You see, they're all singing it. They're all singing it. Bonus reactions to Night to Mexico surprise songs. Oh, oh, piano. <gasps> what is it? It sounds like a, a midnight song. Yeah. Oh, wait. Snow on the beach. A repeat. She did play this at the third show. So it's one of the earlier ones. Stop me quite like you did in my flight was awful. Thanks for asking. I'm unglued. Thanks to you. We listened to this song Ooh, first, the first time together, Lauren. <laughs> you wanting me tonight feels impossible. Snow on the beach. <laughs> this is terrible. How do we I'm feel about Taylor Swift? <laughs> Taylor sang Africa. What is she singing? 
<gasps> Maroon? For the third time? Dude. Afterglow. <laughs> How do we feel about afterglow? I'm actually, this is the first one where I'm actually upset. This is, this is like a direct betrayal. This is a, this is a direct hit. Afterglow and Cornelia Street back to back was a, a personal attack. LA, what did we do to her to make her save all these bangers for Mexico <laughs> and not us? Twist the knife. That's how I feel. <laughs> Um, this vlog is turning into a Swifty week in my life just because I keep thinking of more things to film about. So you guys saw some of my reactions to the surprise songs this weekend, but I can only film my reactions to some of them. So I didn't get all of them, but if I did get all of them, I would have been screaming because I cannot believe that she played, first of all, Cornelia Street, which was in my top 10 or my top three of surprise songs. And after Glow, which is another one that I had been waiting for. And if you guys didn't know, every single Tuesday I do a live stream guitar lesson. I teach three songs that Taylor plays every single weekend as a surprise song. So this week I chose I Forgot That You Existed, Tell Me Why. I haven't taught those at all on my channel, so I try to choose songs that I don't have tutorials for. And then I'm also teaching After Glow, even though I already have a tutorial because she played it a little bit different than how I taught it so I love to teach kind of like the live version that Taylor plays because she's just has like a very specific way of playing songs live sometimes so I've been practicing so every like Tuesday morning I just make my little coffee and I sit down here and I practice the songs and make sure they're all good to go for the live stream tonight honestly one of the most relaxing parts of my day but before I end this vlog I realized I literally didn't open any of the vinyls and so I wanted to open open all of these and show you guys what they look like inside. How did I forget to show you what's actually inside? So I already have the normal Speak Now, but I didn't get the Target edition, which is the lilac version. I have the darker purple one that's like Orchid or something. I actually don't even, I think there might be three different versions of the Speak Now Taylor's version, but I only got two of them because they all kind of look the same. And I always love to keep the sticker, so I try not to rip that when I'm opening my my vinyls so usually I just like to keep this and eventually I'm going to cut them out and put them like on the outside protector of these I just haven't had the time to sit down and like actually go through all of my vinyls and store them correctly which we're gonna do that very soon gonna get like the rice paper slips for the actual LPs and then we have like these clear protectors for the outside if you guys want me to do a full video on all of my vinyls I think I'm going to do that soon um, I just show you guys how we store them and all of my collection that me and my sister have built up over the past like year so here we have the target edition the same inside but the actual lps are light purple which is literally my favorite thing um oh my gosh it's beautiful beautiful look at this oh my goodness i am obsessed 
and whenever me and my sister get a new vinyl we just like to put it directly like on our record player and just sit and listen to it we have like our little record room over there as you guys saw earlier in the vlog i had gotten my kelsey ballerini vinyl and so we just sat in there and listened to it and it was lovely so speak now taylor's version next i'm going to open this one next because i'm most excited to see this and this is the reputation one because the vinyls have the album picture on it making sure i get my sticker and i cannot wait to see how she recreates the reputation cover for reputation taylor's version every other cover i've just been obsessed with here it is let's see how it looks inside these are like two of the best photos from the Reputation photo shoot. I love this one. So cool. Okay, let's open the first one. I don't know if both of them are the same or if they're two different pictures on the actual vinyls. Oh, here we go. I cannot wait to play this one. Oh, I think it's two different. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so cool. I'm so happy I finally got my hands on one of these. I have been looking for this one forever. I know there's like much more like rare versions of these vinyls and hopefully one day I will get, I think there's an orange version of Reputation that I would die to have. And then the other one I would die to have is the Record Store Day 1989 one. But if I could go back in time and know that those were going to be super rare, totally would have got them. Oh, these are different. They have different pictures on them. Oh. I feel like this needs to be framed. Like, look at that. Wow. I love it. I love it so much. And this, like, feels super sturdy. This feels thicker than most vinyls. Reputation. We got two more to go, so stick with me here. Um, next, we're going to do Fearless Platinum Edition. I would love to find the original Fearless. This one doesn't have a sticker, which is kind of sad, but, you know. I don't know if they, like, went back and re, like, printed vinyls for all of these because Taylor Swift is, like, really popular right now. I don't know if that's what it is, but I am very glad that I have found these. Okay. Fearless Platinum Edition. I wonder how many LPs. I think it's just two. Oh. These ones, I think, are just going to be black, but the middle is really cute. It's got, like, the Fearless hand heart which is really cute. So this is just like a normal vinyl here. So I'm gonna have to go through and repackage these and get the actual protectors that are going to keep the vinyls lasting as long as possible um, because I heard the paper ones aren't that great for them. Oh, here's the inside. We've got Taylor in the Rain from the Fearless Tour. This one is gonna be the same exact thing. There we go, Fearless. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, we have Speak Now, the OG version. Um, I know, again, there's like a Record Store Day version of Speak Now that I would die to have. Here we go. Again, no sticker for this one. I just, this has always been one of my favorite covers of the original ones. I just, this purple is like... Ugh. And the fact that it kind of looks like a painting. Don't get me wrong, I think she did great with the re-released cover. Oh, I knew this was going to have this. The uh, Speak Now, like all of her band members' hands on it. Super cute. Speak Now. So now I can listen to old Speak Now guilt-free. Because if you listen on vinyl, you're not giving money to Scooby Snack. Because sometimes I, you know, obviously I'm supporting the Taylor's versions of everything, like, duh. I'm removing the stolen versions as she releases the new versions. But sometimes her just, like, younger voice really just it hits. Okay, so that is my little vinyl haul for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what else, what other content you guys want to see from me. Now that Taylor is taking a two and a half month break from the Eras Tour, I'm excited to get into some other content. But again, please, please leave any suggestions down below of videos that I should film. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.